I realized that art was my passion after I had quit my career as an accountant. Um, I quit and decided to take some time to figure out what I really wanted to do. And I was writing a lot, trying to figure that out, and then I started drawing. And I took an art class and took another art class, and then I decided to build up a portfolio and apply to art school. Um, and it was really through that process that I realized that I'm an artist and art's really my true passion. Throughout my time in elementary school, I was really into art a lot, and I uh, had a great art teacher who put me in uh, shows at a local art college and that kind of stuff in elementary school. So I was really into art then, and growing older, I kind of uh, grew out of it a little bit, I'd say, but also wasn't exposed to as much. I went to a Catholic high school and there wasn't much of an art program to speak of, so kind of lost sight of it a little bit and it wasn't until later I realized that was my, came back to it as my passion and realized how uh, much impact that time in elementary school did have on art for me as a passion. I was really drawn to sculpture because I acknowledged that my thinking process is really uh, three-dimensional and I use my body a lot to express myself, so um, I found two-dimensional uh, works of art, like printmaking and painting, I love doing them, but they are kind of limiting in um, respect that um, I, can tr ex I can express myself better um, in three-dimension. Well, as soon as I say I um, focus on three-dimension more, I've been I make a lot of video art as well, so um, that like loosely falls under uh, sculpture as a media because there isn't anywhere else in the school where it fits logically. So I, I do approach it from a sculpture perspective and try to create a immersive 3D environment with my videos. Um, and then that being said, I also do a lot of uh, found object assemblages. I do like. Um, paintings, and I do performance as well. I'm really inspired by transdisciplinary artists. I, um, one of my favorite artists is Sterling Ruby. He is a young artist based in LA. Uh, he makes uh, video, cast bronze, ceramics, uh, large uh, soft works. Um, and I'm really drawn to that ability to move from any medium into and really create something that is yours and your message, no matter what the medium. In my work, I really try to recall my own memories of moments of change. Uh, and in doing so, I hope they manifest in my objects and videos and performances as a way for the viewer to then see those moments of change and open up that space for themselves to maybe introspect on something in their lives that could be changed, could be better. Uh, so it's that moment of change or optimism for the viewers, what I'm trying to create with my artwork. My development as a sculptor really um, can be attributed to my professors here at Mecca, absolutely. Uh, they, won't, they won't accept anything less than your full potential. So. Um, that really got me up to speed quickly with, as far as working in three dimension. And I, I started out really um, trying to activate architectural space, kind of drawing in space. So uh, that helped taking what I had experience with drawing or printmaking or painting and uh, really translating that into three dimension. And then going a step further and incorporating things such as time and, and space relations and um, I'm also focusing on transcending time and space. I have created functional works of art. I've taken a woodworking class. I've made a desk. Uh, I've made uh, bowls in my bronze, uh, my bronze casting class. But function isn't really something in my studio practice that's important to me. It's more the idea and communicating the idea for the viewer. Space is very important to me. I surf and I'm a mountaineer, uh, so it's very important to me to get into the environment, into wide open spaces, and um, from that I draw on those experiences 
and I translate that space into um, a smaller, more intimate um, experience for my viewer of my work, um, be it a wall piece or even a three-dimensional piece in the round. Um, I reference the landscape quite a bit uh, with line and large scale, um, thinking of a piece that I made uh, using large drain pipes and it was about 10 feet long and, and interspersed in the drain pipes was uh, playground balls um, creating different uh, elements of the landscape. One uh, artwork that really created an aha moment for me was when I happened to walk into um, Matthew Barney's Cream Master Cycle at the Guggenheim in New York. This was long before I started to pursue a career in the arts, but looking back, I could see how influential that moment was to the work I'm making now. Um, his use of scale is just like totally over the top. He, um, nothing's too big for him. He had blimps and helicopters and uh, motorcycles and uh, filled this and filled the entire museum with his work like so perfectly well, and um, that's something that I strive to do as well. Leaving Mecca and having my work continue to evolve is uh, quite, I'm considering it a challenge at this point. Um, I'm going to be working full time and uh, it's going to be a struggle to keep up my practice, but I'm designing a way to have a flexible work schedule that is going to allow me to be in the studio making work, uh, networking with uh, other artists in my community. Mecca has uh, been great in opening many different avenues for me other than uh, just simply um, creating my ability as an artist. I also have created a experimental school inside of the ICA here at Mecca um, called the Peninsula School. It's an uh, experimental school run by students. Um, students decide the curriculum. Student, anyone can teach. Anyone can be a student. Uh, we have, uh, right now we have uh, artwork by Helen Martin. She's a 26-year-old British artist, and we have a video of hers. Um, we also have artwork by Elad Basri. Uh, he's also a recent MFA graduate. Um, so the school is really investigating how these young artists are successful uh, in supporting themselves as a working artist. And where are the possibilities for us as MECA students to achieve that sometime in the future, if that's our goal.